And we're going to look at the gradient tool in a little bit more depth. Um, my first video on the basics. If you haven't watched that, just click on the link above. Now what we're going to do is look at how we can use other photos to influence the colour um, and maybe match them match or help them blend in. So let's just resize. I'm going to move that image over there and just pull this one up. Okay, we're going to try and add some colours from the photo on the left and influence the photo on the right. So we'll go down and pick the gradient map. And as usual, it uh, picks up the red, green, blue. So what we want to do is look at the dark colours first. So if I just click on the left hand uh, button, pick the colour, get the dropper and we'll just drop it on one of the dark reds here. And when I've done that, it changes the swatch. Just click on that and it will change the colour here. Now let's look at uh, the midtones. Click on the colour again. Let's say this darker, darker flesh colour here. Again, click on the uh, little colour swatch. And then finally, for the lighter tones, we're going to just pick up the picture again. I'm going to pick up on, on a very light area of the head there and just click in there and there we go so we've got three colors and we can then change the blend mode to say soft light and now we're using those colors from the right hand image a uh, left hand image to influence the right hand image and i can just reduce the um, opacity until it becomes uh, more likable and there we go but there is a, a better way of doing this. So instead of picking randomly the colors off the image, I can actually get the, main, the three basic colors out, out of this um, image automatically. So if you go up to the top here and pick swatches, and what we, the little pull down menu here, and if you go create a palette of colors basically from the image, so I just click on that select the image I want to get the colors from and you'll see it defaults to five. What we're going to do in this case is just reduce that to three and just hit preview and here are our three main colors. So I'll create that and you can see just here it's created this uh, little panel and it's named after the image itself so you can find it later if you need to. Okay. So what we can do is instead of randomly picking off, off the photo, we can actually pick these three colors. So I can go in, pick color, and instead come up to the top and pick my dark color and accept that. Go to the mid, again, pick up. And then finally, the highlight area and apply that and then increase the opacity so we can see the effect. If I turn that on and off you can see it's quite a dramatic change but the, the colour tones are now more in alignment with this image over here. And then don't forget if, if this is a like a common theme that you want to use uh, add it as a preset. So just click on preset and give it a name. I'll just call it AAA. Okay. And that's now saved. So if I delete this and I go over to the adjustment here, we have AAA. Just click on it and it will apply that gradient map. So that's the, that's the first usage. So if, if you had a series of photos and you wanted them all to have a, a similar uh, color balance and tone, uh, this is the way you'd, you'd, you'd apply it. Now, let's look at another example. And this is more when you're doing a composite photo. So uh, let me just remove that for the moment. 
and go over to this image. So we've got a forest type scene and let's say we wanted to add some people into it. So I've got two examples here, two, two different uh, ladies and we want to add this into this photo here. So if I go to the layers here, I've already cut this out. So I can just go uh, copy, uh, go back to the forest and paste. Let's take this image and just reduce it a little bit. There we go. Now go to our second image. And again, I've already cut out the image. So let's uh, copy that. Go back to the forest and uh, paste that in. There we go. Now, the problem is, is that the lighting on these two uh, individuals is different to the forest itself. So we'll use a similar technique or the same technique. So if we look at uh, this forest background, it, it's, it's very green and I've already got the um, the palette here, but we'll do it again anyway. So uh, we'll come up to uh, swatches, little burger bar menu here, create a palette from an image, select the forest image, and this time I'm going to keep five. So here's our, our color palette of five. You can increase it if you want, but uh, for this exercise, so every time I increase it, I'll get more and more of the palette from this, this image. We want to actually go to five and preview that and create it. And here we go. And here's our palette. So what we can do is um, again, come in to the gradient map. And what we want to do is move that gradient map to the top. And what we can do is if we select the three items and make that a group, it's now affecting um, these images, but not affecting the background. So what we can do uh, now is go back to the gradient map and go do the same process. So what I want to do is uh, insert two more points And you want those as it is 25, 50%, 75%. And we're going to set all five. So we'll start off with the darkest. And it's the same process. Pick up the dark image. Go to the next one. Middle one. And the final one. And obviously, um, what we need to do is set the blend mode. And soft light is usually a good choice. Now, what we've done is if we turn this on and off, the two people there are, are now more in alignment with the general color and saturation of the image itself. So we can now click that off and uh, what I'll do is uh, I need to move these separately so I'll just uh, ungroup for a second okay and we'll just position these items these two people let's uh, shove her on this rock here make her a little bit smaller again make more appropriate size and uh, you can see the hands going out so we'll, we'll pretend that's behind a tree there we go and again we don't want it affecting the, the main photo so uh, we'll group uh, these three again 
and you can see the background goes back. So now if we look at this and we turn the gradient map on and off, you can see that the, the people are not much better matching the general tones of this image and more likely to sit in the scene. So that's a way of using uh, gradient maps by picking from uh, other images. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you would like to subscribe or give me a tick, that would be great. Thank you very much.